folks, we are at the 32nd annual bike show at the Daytona Beach Boardwalk. This is sponsored by Full Throttle Magazine, and it is right on the sandy beach of Daytona. And if you walk underneath this bridge right here and go straight up, that's Main Street right there. It's right in the heart of everything. Lots of vendors, lots of place to get something to eat and drink. And there's some primo bikes here today. I think there's about, I heard there was 200 bikes. I'm not sure, but there'll be some, some serious big wheel baggers. I look when I came through there. There's a badass big wheel trike taking two of the hottest trends, trikes and big wheels and rolling them up into one. That's pretty cool. B-Rod. Look at this one. Everybody's crowding around this one. This is a really unique piece. Look at this thing. Interviewing the builder. Look at this thing. Oops. That's just insane. Look at the front wheel on that thing, babe. That is a cool, yeah, it's the coolest bike. Wow. That is something else. What a trendsetter, huh? Wow. How about a turbocharged big wheel bagger? Look at that. Wow. This is the big wheel bagger section, apparently. We're right on this, right on the ocean here, folks. Hopefully, some people from other countries will see this and be inspired to come to Daytona for Bike Week. We actually did a video inside this place, eat at Joe's. Went up to the top deck, which will be open soon. Another turbocharged bike. Trask Turbos has been selling a lot of turbos. Look at that paint job on that Indian. Wow. Just row after row after row of world-class custom paint jobs. I know, right? Look at the paint job on this thing. Wow. Just stunning. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that one. Orange and white with a brown leather seat. Just beautiful. Tail draggers. Oh, look at the paint job on that one, huh? Wow, look at this. He's got a, he's got a gun. He's got a John Dillinger gun in the uh, floorboard. You never know, going to a rough neighborhood. Someone might need a cap in their ass. Tune, folks, because these go all the way down the boardwalk. This bike needs its own video right here. We the people ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense. Look at that. Wow. Military theme. The Second Amendment. A well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Got the presidents on there. In God we trust. What a beautiful paint job, man. This is the hearts of the people for whom he saved the Union. The memory of Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln is enshrined forever. Wow. Statue of Liberty. Just an absolutely beautiful paint job with a theme that I can really dig. Look at a Dungeon and Dragons one here. Wow. Old Moto Jazzy. I don't know what that gold wing is doing in here, but here's a nice Dyna. Very nice. There's a nice Norton 750 Commando. Look at that. Wow. It's just beautiful. Norton Villiers. That is a beautiful piece right there. It's got the original road holder badges on there. Flathead. Hardtail. Nice Springer. 
They got some bad, bad bones that they call those. Something for everybody. Here's a nice knucklehead springer. Hardtail. Look at all these people here. Having a blast. Another knucklehead. Knucklehead hardtail springer. Look at that beauty. That's a sexy bitch. Wow. Nice iron head sporcer. I love them iron head motors. Look at the gold plating on there and the graving. Just beautiful. The hot rod Honda 70, all built up. You can parts on it. I bet you this thing hauls them out. It's got a Life on 140 in it. They're even making trikes out of scooters. Here's a guy who wants to protect his investment. Beautiful. Detroit Brothers, look at this. Wow, that's cool. Iron head, hardtail, custom. Look at that thing. Love them old iron heads. Gold chain. How about a GS 1150ES? These are becoming highly collectible. Very nice. Classic Harley Davidson. Pan head, 1958 Duo Glide. Wow, here's a beauty, FXRS. FXRS is one of the first Fort Harley Davidsons made. This is a 82 first year of the FXR. Last year of the shovel, 82 or 83. Looks like it's got original paint on it. This thing's freaking beautiful. Original intake, showing 15,000 miles. That's highly collectible. Very nice. Here's an Indian Four. It's not something you're gonna see every day. Wow, has a cross country chase decal on it for um, things. So they must have ran it cross country. It's a four cylinder Indian. Right, very rare. Nice can head chopper. Wow, look at this old flathead sporter. Very nice. One of my favorites, Triumph. Fuel injected 2300cc monster with a sidecar. There's a nice FXR. Or oh, Dyna. Dyna with an FXR T clone fairing. Very cool. They just keep going, right, folks. We're getting close. Yeah. Here's all the trophies. The trophies we're going to do those at 430. We want to welcome everybody out to the boardwalk. We, oh, I hate to ask, sir, can you slide over? We're, we're doing a quick little video. I know a lot of folks want to use our stage. We got Valerie from Rider Now Magazine in the house with us, too. How about to say hello to Valerie right there? Hi, Valerie. We work together with her with Full Throttle Magazine. Just beautiful. Like that. Thanks to our great sponsor, Attorney Fran. A lot of nice bikes here this year. Here's a beautiful Triumph Tiger 100 in a purple, blue, and white. 67 T100R. First year of the Daytona model. The Daytona model had the twin carb intake on it. My first motorcycle I had when I was about 14. First real motorcycle. Daytona 500. It was a hand-me-down from my... Uh, Dad to my brother to me. Good paint job on that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the There's a cool international harvester. Historic Daytona Beach, Florida. We hope you're having a great time. We want to thank everybody for coming out. It's great to be back on the board. John Deere, how about a, jo how about a John Daytona Deere paint job on your Harley? 
That's a unique, huh? You got a John Deere and an International Harvester tractor. Hey, this one's for you, Mark Olson, if you're watching. Grand Hush, attorney at law, 1866 Law. Can you take some pictures of these and uh, text them to me so I can send them to Mark Olson? I can text the green and white and the, and, the, and the red and white. I need a picture of both. We also have a fan's choice. Wow. The Hindenburg. Awesome. Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. How are you? You been up to the museum yet? We're, we're open March 19th. Yeah, yeah, we're having a blast. We hope to see you up there. Eduardo Garcia talking with Ed. That's his YouTube blog. He's here. He's here filming today. <laughs> Thanks, brother. God bless, man. Take care. Here's a Suzuki Hayabusa, all done up, all chromed out. Those are kick-ass bikes. You can't beat that. Look at the paint job on that thing. Just beautiful. It's original factory paint, too, I think. There's millions of dollars of world-class machines here today, millions. Who knows what the total value is, but probably a thousand years of labor went into building these, you know? Look at this, soft tail deluxe, the custom rims, just beautiful, really nice. Here's a nice power cruiser for you, Suzuki M109R, some gave all, firefighter tribute, that's pretty awesome. Service to others, brotherhood, this bike is my dedication to all the men and women who put their lives on the line to complete strangers. Freaking awesome. Mad respect for firefighters, police, and uh, of course the military. Now that's a cool piece. There's something different. A Springer Sportster trike. That's freaking cool. The dimensions on it are awesome. It's got like huge fat rear tires. It's short, fat, and tall all at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but that thing, that thing's got tons of character, man. I like that. Now here's here's one. I got a like stars and stripes on a V8 502 502 cubic inch Boss Haas. When too much, it's just enough. There's another 502 Boss Haas. Look at that thing, the huge trunk on it. Wow. Another Springer. Springer Sportster. How about the red, white, and blue here, folks? A little patriotic theme going on. Man, that's awesome. I can't say little, that's a big patriotic thing. United States Navy. Flag on it, probably uh, retired military or active military. Here's a nice one right here, a 93 Harley Davidson FXRS. I bought one of these brand new in 1993, a Harley Davidson. Really? Yeah, FXRS. Oh, yep. Yeah? Not a convertible, just a regular the SP, the Dash SP. Oh, yeah? Yep. I look familiar. I have a familiar face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Guys, if you remember Billy with the BMW trike, here he is. This is his ride. What's happening, brother? Hey, just doing it, doing it upright with the other bike. You know, as much as I love your BMW, I'm a Harley Davidson FXR guy since 1990. I had my first one, and I bought a brand new one in '93. So I just love this bike. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, what uh, looks like you got an S and S motor in it? It's got an S and S 124 inch. Holy shit! Cubic inch. That's about 115 horsepower, right? Uh, probably closer to 130. To 130. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a hydraulic uh, dual master cylinder up here. Uh, the first cylinder, when you break the front lever, does the dual disc. Proportions to the second cylinder, breaks the sidecar drum, and uh, a one caliper on the back rotor. It's a 130 horsepower SNS 124 cubic inch monster machine. Everything's done on this thing chrome, swing arm, wheels, just beautiful. Is that the original factory paint on it? Nice. It looks brand new, man. How, how long you had it? Since 93. Oh, shit. You had it brand new? It you turns, bought one the same year I did. You have, you have a better piece of mine than I do. I sold mine, yeah. unfortunately. It, uh, it turns 28 in, uh, on March the 15th. Wow. And it has 72,000 miles? Uh, it's probably close to 130. It looks brand new. You obviously take really good care of your oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I do. That's it lasts that. longer that way. Hell, yeah. Well, hey, guys. Um, if you uh, if you weren't a trike guy and you didn't, didn't want the trike... 
Here, here's another option. You can set up a, a an FXR or a sport bike jockey shift. with a jockey shift and get like back clutch, in the wind. Clutch and reach across. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. There's all kinds. Of Which one do you like riding better? It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm uh, doing the honey do list for for my wife, I take the trike. If we're riding, we take this. You got more room in the trike for luggage and stuff, right? Well, Is that yeah, what but I can put the put the chair on the back with her help. And load that up with beer and uh, groceries. Beer and groceries. I like your style. <laughs> God bless you, brother. Thank you. You too. You're an inspiration, man. Right, Keep up the good work. You bet. Enjoy the show. All right. You meet the coolest people at Daytona, man. The guy's a real inspiration. He's having a blast. He's had that bike since 93 and uh, kept it really nice. Just awesome. It takes, takes a bit of peace of mind to, to hang on to a bike for your whole lifetime like that. I've got my Mustang GT Ragtop I've had since 1990. For some some reason, I've never had the heart to sell that. I've had it forever. Can I recognize this one? Up ahead. Oh, yeah. This is the... um. We saw these guys down at the Gibb Town Bike Fest, uh, this bike right here. And the guy who makes these is super talented. Every one of his bikes has a really unique style made with uh, um, basically recycled components, man, all the metal and everything. Just stunning. Beautiful. He's got a freaking alligator tail for a seat. Now that's cool. Look at the profile on this nut. You know, as much as I love the iron head motor, I guess those are a little more obtainable, but that nut is really makes a statement. That's why they're getting obscene amount of money for original knuckleheads. I don't think there's that many of them left, you know? This one's for the boys. You've been asking for it. Here it is. Bikinis on the beach. Bikes, beer, sand, and babes. What else What else you need? Come to Daytona. I don't know where to push the original. And dogs. Little dogs, big dogs, all kinds of dogs. Yeah. Got a snake theme on this one here with the seat, the paint job. It's awesome. Look at the speaker front end on that. That's just cool. Really unique. I never seen one like that, man. That's awesome. You want a trunk for your bike? Holy shit. That's bigger than the trunk of my Mustang. V8 powered boss house trike. That's awesome. Hot Rod Kawasaki. The sports or dirt bike. Many Dyna big wheels, that's pretty cool, man. Nice exhaust on it, too. I'd be afraid to drag this going over a curb. East Coast, and these are stunt riders right here. These boys can ride, man. That's no joke. They use these. Joey Banana Peel. Fucking awesome. Paint job's off the hook on this thing. This might be my favorite, the Second Amendment bike. Iron head, shovel head, excuse me, shovel head, Springer, hardtail. Well, there you have it, folks. Another full throttle magazine bike show on the boardwalk we actually had a bike an iron head cafe racer that took first place down here uh, i did a video on it one that uh, a friend of ours had originally started and we finished got it pimped out another daytona main street pier and boardwalk bike show comes to an end 2021 watching God bless the United States of America.